Hello, good day, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are all doing great. I am Mr. Kelvin. Welcome back to our math class. Our topic for today is topic 13, lesson 1. It's about areas of special quadrilaterals. Are you guys ready? So here's the objective of our today's lesson. The objective is to find the areas of special quadrilaterals. Before I proceed, be sure you have the following materials. First is your math textbook. Second is your pen or pencil. And last but not the least, an extra paper, paper I mean, for solving. I believe you are all ready now. So here we go. So let's have first a recap of our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we study on how to find a parallelogram and a triangle. So I do have here some questions. So in question number one, it says, find the area of a rhombus with a base of 10.2 inches and the height of 7 inches. So, to find the area of a rhombus, what's the formula? Yes, you're right. We have to multiply only the base and the height. So in this given, the base is 10.2 and the height is 7 inches. After multiplying the two, you will get what? If you're saying your answer is 71.4 squared inches, then you are correct. Okay, now let's proceed to question number two. In question number two, it says, find the area of a par parallelogram with a base of 8 cm and the height of 12 cm. So, to find the area, you have to multiply the base and the height again. The given base here is 8 cm and the height is 12 cm. So after mul multiplying, what you will get? You are correct. We have 96 squared cm. Now, let's have question number 3. For third question, it says, find the area of a triangle that has a base of 20 feet and the height of 8 feet. Since we're asking for the area of triangle, so we have this formula, base times height divided by 2 or 1 half of base and height. So in this given, the base is 20 feet and the height is 8 feet. So you'll multiply the 2, 20 and 8, then after that, we have to divide it by 2. And after multiplying 20 and 8, you get 160, and half of it is 80. So in here, we have 80 squared feet. Time. Let's proceed to our today's lesson. So here is an essential question. How can you find the areas of special quadrilaterals? So I do have here a problem opener. Let me read. The pasture is in the shape of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. What is the area of the pasture? So you can use a structure by decomposing the trapezoid into a rectangle and triangles. So as you can see in here, we have the figure. And what we will be doing is that we will decompose the trapezoid into a rectangle and two triangles. Okay? So we have here the rectangle. On the left side, we have a triangle and another triangle on the right side. So find the length of any missing base or height. 
So for rectangle, the base is there. For rec for triangle and for triangle located on the left side we have four yard but on the right side it's missing right so what we are going to do is that we have to subtract four and ten from the total length which is 18 to get the length of the triangle located on the right side and the answer is four now let's continue so to find the area of each shade we have this formula first for triangle we have one half base times height okay so in here in this figure the base is 4 and the height is 12 after multiplying the two you will get 48 then get the half of 48 so you will get 24 squared yard now for rectangle we have area equals length times width we have the width which is 12 and the length which is 10 okay so you multiply the two you will get 120 squared yard now this is not yet the final answer okay so what we will be doing next is that we are going to add the areas. What are we going to add? The areas. You are right. Add the areas of the triangles and rectangle. So as you can see in this figure, we have two triangles. So the answer here is 24 squared yard for triangle. So we have to double it, right? So we have 24 and 24 plus the area of rectangle which is 120. A total of 168 okay so here as you can see I circled it so we have 168 squared okay now I do have here another example okay so I do have here another example let me read Jackson has a rectangular piece of cloth that has an area of 298 squared centimeter. Does he have enough cloth to make the kite shown? So a kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal in length. Find the area of the kite by dividing it into two identical triangles. So when we say identical, it means what? Yes, it means exactly alike. Okay, now, so as you can see in here, I decompose this kite, right? Now we do have here two triangles. So using the formula, we have A is equal to one half base times height. So we do have here the bases, five centimeter and 25 centimeter a total of 30 centimeters and then we have here the height with which is 10 centimeter so we will multiply the two we have 30 times 10 and you will get 300 then divide it by 2 it will be 150 squared centimeters now as you can see we have two triangles in here so if the answer is 150 then we have to double it right okay so area is 2 times 150 then you will get 300 squared centimeter now going back with the question does he have enough plot to make the kite yes you're right the answer is no Jackson does not have enough cloth to make the kite. Why? Because based on this problem, Jackson has a rectangular piece of cloth that has an area of, yes, only 298 squared centimeter. Now, so we do have here a guided practice. 
let me read draw a line to div divide the pasture on the previous page into two triangles what are the measures of the bases and the heights of the two triangles so i do have here the figure here's the figure okay it says draw a line now i draw a line in here what are the measures of the bases and the heights yes you are right one triangle's base is 10 yard as you can see in the figure and the other has a base of 18 yard and both have a height of 12 yards okay now let's have question number two in another example how could you use four triangles to find the kite's area so here's the feet picture of a kite okay now how could you use four triangles to find the kite's area by yes you are right by finding the area of each triangle and adding the areas there you have it now let's proceed to question number three okay now class take a look at figure number three okay so we're going to find the area of this figure the first thing that you need to do is to decompose it so in here we have to multiply first the base and the height the given base in the first figure is 12 and the height is 8 so multiply the two 12 and 8 you will get 96 squared centimeter then for the second figure it's a triangle so we have to use the formula one half base times height the base in here is 6 and the height is 8 multiply it 6 times 8 is 48 and half of 48 is you're right half of 48 is 24 so we have 24 squared centimeter is it the final answer no it's not yet the final answer why because we have to add the total areas okay so for the first figure we have 96 and for the second figure we have 24 and it will give you 120 squared centimeter okay let's continue now let's have figure number four okay take a look at this figure i'm going to decompose it again okay so here we go so i will use the formula again a is equal to one half base times height in here we have two triangles again okay so one half equals 12 uh, multiplied by the given base and the height which is 12 and 9 so after multiplying the two i will get 108 and half of 108 is yes you are right 54 square feet now let's have the second figure in the second figure we have the base which is 12 and the height this time is 8 multiply 8 and 12 it will result to 96 then get half of 96 what will the number be yes it's 48 so we have 48 square feet now for us to know the area of it then you have to get the total areas of the two figures so we have 54 and 48 a total of 102 squared feet okay now let's keep going so here's an independent practice try answering textbook page 673 okay question numbers 5 to 7 so it says in here find the area of each shape take note when you decompose a trapezoid into a rectangle and two triangles the triangles may not be identical it may not be identical okay so for these exercises or i mean for this independent practice I will give you some minutes to solve 
Then a little later, I will reveal the answer, okay? So kindly get your extra sheet of paper. Okay, now let's check your work. So for question number five, what is your answer? Okay. So for question number five, the answer is 120 squared centimeter. How about for question number six? Your answer is? Okay. It's correct. 32 squared centimeter. How about for question number seven? Do you have answer for question number seven? Okay. So the answer for question number seven is 105 squared feet. Okay, so I'm good that it's good to know that you are all doing great in our I will be leaving you this page 675 for you to work on Okay, so question numbers one two six and I'll be posting the answer in our next session Okay but before we end, before we end, okay, the quote of the day. So, it's from Jan Dewey. It says, the most important attitude that can be found is the desire to go on learning. So, my dear students, keep growing, continue learning. Thank you. Till next time.